what is up big river and what is up everyone watching <clears throat> nice fall overcast day mid 50s on the lehigh river going to be trying out a lure i've been wanting to try for a while jen got me a couple of packs for my birthday thank you very much jen uh helgramites now a couple of different companies make helgramite soft plastic type lures one favorite for a lot of people is nico but those things are expensive. You ever check those out? I think you get like four for like nine dollars plus it's like seven dollars shipping handling. So it's a little, yeah, can't afford something like that at this point. But um, today <clears throat> we've got the Bass Pro Chefs version of a Helgramite. I think one of the three and a quarter inch. I got two colors. I got a kind of a hmm, watermelon type green and then kind of a black and blue version. So we're gonna give them a shot. <clears throat> Been kind of wanting to try something like this for a while. Uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Um, gonna get tied up and we'll see y'all in a second. Thanks for watching. Let's go try to catch some fish. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start out with the watermelon. Um, I've got it tied on to, I think it's like a 16th ounce jig head. Um, I've got a couple of different ways I could fish that, but I'll start out with just a jig head kind of exposed hook so let's just go for it here we go first cast i didn't go very far <laughs> um <clears throat> river's running a little high a little stained but not too bad hopefully we can find some fish otherwise this might be a <laughs> A boring episode. We can't find any fish. All right, we're, uh, I don't know, 45 minutes in and we just caught our first fish and I don't think it actually recorded because after I let it go and check the GoPro, I got the dreaded repairing file error message thingy. Battery is about to die, so I think that's about, that's probably what happened there. So, one fish so far. It was a fall fish, eh, kind of smallish fall fish. But um, we got more time. We're gonna keep going. Let's get back to it. There we go. Oh, stay on. Hey, something not too bad it feels like. Unless it's not going on. Alright, as soon as I hit the water too. It's a smallie. Not a big one, but better than nothing. Alright, stay on please. Fish number two on the Helgramite. Like I said, I don't think the first fish recorded. Hopefully the second fish did. Uh, it's a you know, 10 inch smallmouth. They get bigger, but <clears throat> today is pretty slow. We'll take it. Back he goes. Oh, he got it as soon as they hit the water right there. That's cool. Let's see, a little closer look at what this thing is. Right, so. Helgramites are the larvae of Dobson flies. 
they get pretty big, um, like, like as big as that, maybe even a little bit bigger. So you find them in you know, rivers and streams and creeks and whatnot, you're under rocks, other places where they can hide. <clears throat> All right, let's get right back out there. Right about there, let's see. Hey. Oh, he hit hard too. Man, um, that's the, what is it? That's another fall fish, okay. Well, if we didn't, I think it's a little bit better than the first one too. Um, <clears throat> all right. These guys are fun. <clears throat> they're hard to lip, but um, they're a lot of fun. And this one, he's a medium size. They get quite a bit bigger than that. But um, they do really kind of, they hit hard <laughs> a lot of times, especially, if you're not like really kind of a lot of slack in your line. It's a pretty fish too. Um, kind of pretty closely related to our good old Creek Chub. They get a little bit bigger. <clears throat> Biggest native minnow in Pennsylvania. And by minnow, I mean, you know, like the group of fish, right? Not little tiny guys, because some minnows like common carp get really big. Well, all right, there we go, there's three starting to kind of wow i don't know it's been it's been a lot of work today but making it happen now that's good a few days later i figured you know that first spot um it's got potential but conditions probably not the greatest for trying to test out a new lure water was running really high really fast it wasn't the clearest either been getting a lot of rain lately and so a lot of the rivers and creeks are a little bit high and so I decided to try one more spot to kind of finish out this test of this new lure the Helgramite. Okay? Um, so as you can see it's a much smaller creek that I'm at okay? and it is you know, it's a few days later I don't have a fan of doing it like this but got to make it work okay? so I'm gonna give this spot a try with the Helgramite. there are hopefully some smallies in here and some other things. So let's finish this test, shall we? Yeah. I'm gonna get tied up and get right back to it. See you in a second. Bye. <clears throat> All right, well, here we go. So I'm gonna, well, I'll start right here. If you go up a little bit further, it gets really fast, pretty shallow. So I'm gonna kind of like, go fish up to the bridge and then kind of work my way downstream got a couple hours give this kind of one more shot so here we go oh there was a fish already wow There we go. Yeah. Drags a little loose. And it is a, yeah, okay, it's a little smally. Second cast, nice. Uh, he's not a big guy by any means, but it's fish and I'll take it. Cool. There we go. <clears throat> little small mouth. Good one on back. All right. <laughs> Maybe just, you know, this lure is about half the size of that guy, but hopefully there's some bigger ones in here. That was a good one. That was a nice bite. There we go. 
What's this? Hey, it's a little bit better. Sweet. Good deal. Yeah. <clears throat> Come here. Mm hmm. Cool. Getting bigger. Nice smally there. Cool. Well, this is working out a lot better than that first spot, that's for sure. Hmm. Oh yeah, hey. Oh, it's a, huh. It's a different species even too. Sweet. Not big by any means, but uh, it's a fish. And today, wow, it's been kind of slow. Uh, so than I was expecting. And a little large mouth. Uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> um, it has not gone the way I was expecting it to go, that's for sure. But then again, that's just kind of how fishing is sometimes. Huh. Sometimes just too many things out of your control. <clears throat> it's kind of up there in that, see there's like a little eddy. So we're at, I'll call it a spillway, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've been fishing the current mostly and nothing. So I just threw into here, it's a little bit quieter. I can't tell how deep it is, but there was at least one fish there. All right, my time is done. I'm gonna call the test of the Bass Pro Shops Helgramite, the Bass Pro Shops version of the Helgramite, done. Um, hmm. Not sure, I mean, I think given the right situation, this lure could work pretty well. Right. So what I think that probably is, is you know, a decent amount of current, um, maybe some structure for the fish to kind of like hide behind and ambush as it kind of floats by them. We found that a lot of the place up there is fairly slow, hardly moves at all, because this is kind of a big dam right here. Um, in places like that, I got no bites. The only bites that I got today and the other time, we're really kind of right in the current or just out of it. So fish were kind of hanging out of the current and waiting for stuff to, to float by. So, I don't know, yeah, like I said, situational. Um, I could have probably went with like a trout magnet or a trout slayer today and probably caught a ton of fish. Well, smallmouth, red breast, green sunfish. What else have I caught here? Maybe some bluegill even. Um, but, nope, it is what it is. I like to try new things, and there we go. Um, if you want to try a new something, too, and if you've got the right kind of water, give it a shot. Um, couldn't hurt. They're not that expensive. It's like 15 for, I think it was $5, All right? So a better deal if you, you want to try a Helgramite lure than something like that, Nico Helgramite. Those things are really expensive, so this might be a good option if that's something that you're thinking about. Well, my fishing time's done for the day. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again sometime soon. Maybe we'll hit up another small creek before it really starts to get cold. So, we'll see you again sometime soon. Bye.